Corona. We're out here in Corona at GME's facility. We're going to do an introduction on the Ronin TL, the Ronin STL, our newest assembly, and walk you guys through some of the technical differences and the capabilities. Let's start off by talking about the changes to our battery for the Ronin STL and the Ronin TL. This battery is now a 48 volt system, and we've made a number of electronic changes to update and improve the battery. We have an indicator light here that you can check power on that battery uh, without having the battery attached to the system. We've integrated an emergency e-stop to be able to kill power to the system and return power to the system. We've added a tethering strap. If you're going to do a battery change out and you need to securely uh, tether the battery, there's now an integrated nylon tether strap. Uh, the battery itself on the inside has some EMI shielding that's been integrated in there for electrical magnetic interference. And with its smaller size, you can still expect to get 800 feet of ascension with a 200 pound load on this battery. I want to talk about our new product line, the Ronin TL. TL stands for Titan Lift. Um, some of the features on the inside that we've kind of changed was the guide block. We've gone to stainless steel, which is going to reduce the wear during use of the system. And also the tensioner is made of stainless steel now too, so that's going to greatly reduce the actual wear on the system during use. Um, the speed's still 1.5 feet per second with a variable speed thumb wheel. As we rotate the thumb wheel down, it increases our speed up. And then we have a two switch operation here, so that way the thumb wheel is not live until we activate the dead man handle back here. The device is about 20% lighter. We're the smallest, lightest device on the market at 19 pounds, 20% lighter than the Roman Lift. And the profile size is actually shrunk down also, 20% from the actual Roman Lift itself. The functionality of the system with the tensioner knob and the way that it works goes off of the backbone of the Roman Lift. So for existing users out there, the device works the exact same. There's going to be no learning curve to switch over to the Titan Lift from the Roman Lift itself. So let's go ahead and take this for a ride and show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and perform some ascending and descending on the Ronin TL, demonstrating the variable speed on the way up and the control speed on the way down. STL are going to be the battery indicator is no longer lit. There's actually a button in the back to light the battery indicator. So depressing the button will show you what your battery charge is and releasing it will automatically turn the power back off to it. Also when putting the battery on it no longer has five beeps to arm. It's going to be a silent arming of the system so that way you don't give away your position during any military operations. Let's go ahead and take the fastest, lightest unit for a ride and show you what it can do. I want to go ahead and demonstrate ascending and descending with the Ronin STL to show the speed during ascent and descent. Here I'm running SRT. This can be run with a backup system and it's under the speed of which a Petzl ASAP will go ahead and catch.
want to talk about some of the tricks of the trade with the Ronin lift. One being that you can load the rope bi-directionally, so you can load it through the top or through the exit hole. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. That may be useful depending on what kind of situation you are in or what kind of how much rope length you have. You may want to load it in the reverse direction. Say you're on a tripod mount or something where you have a lot of rope on the ground and you only want to put a little bit through to do an overhang or maybe confined space. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do this. We're going to load the battery. Prior to that, the one thing I just want to talk about real quick is we want to make sure our tip is properly prepped. Ronin provides one of these perfect burn tips with each of your kits. And this is used to go ahead and cone and prep the tip to, prov to provide a seal on this tip so the inner core does not eject out during rope loading. Loading rope, we're going to turn this tensioner knob to the left, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Once it's screwed all the way in, we'll go ahead and insert the rope through the top. Tap the trigger, the rope will be picked up. Press the brake down just a hair to remove the obstruction coming out. And then we're gonna go ahead and feed the rope right through. To eject the rope out, we'll hold the brake all the way open against the wall, fully open, actuating the limit switch here, putting the device into reverse, and we can reverse the rope out. Now if you want to feed the rope through the exit hole to reverse feed it, what we're going to do is we're going to stick the vise in reverse, holding the brake down all the way open, insert the rope in, while holding that brake down we're going to push the rope in, tap the trigger, picking up the rope, and then we're going to go ahead and just feed it through in the reverse direction. That's bi-directional feeding using the Titan TL. And I just want to go ahead and state that all of the Ronin products can utilize this feature, whether it be the STL, the TL, or the Ronin Lift. Another unique feature to the Ronin Lift is because we're an in-feed system and because we trap the rope inside the device, there's no way to have a detachment. So it allows us to put tension on the tailing line where if you're using a buddy, he can tag you out from obstructions and overhangs. I'll show that right now with more. Your buddy can simply grab the tail line and pull the climber away from the structure as you're descending, avoiding any cross members. Super easy, super straightforward. One of the unique features with the Ronin Lift is its ability to do angle descents. Because we trap the rope inside the pocket of the device with the in-feed system, this allows Mark on a single line to be able to ascend up at a 45 degree angle. The rope is tensioned using a progress capture on the other end, and he's able to ascend up and avoid any obstructions. Subsequently, when he gets to the top, because there's still line on the tension, he can open the brake mechanism and use the powered reverse function to actually power reverse himself down. This is one of the many unique ways that operators can avoid overhead obstructions. When you're out on a job site, you may not have a buddy to tag you out, yet you may have obstructions or cross members that you need to pass. With the Ronin product line, Passing any of the cross members is very simple. What I'm using here is the Ronin Titan Lift. This is gonna be the smallest, lightest, most ergonomic unit on the market. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to go ahead and pass these cross members. One unique thing that allows us to do this is with the rope trapped in the system, you can angle load or side load, axial load the system and you don't have to worry about detachment because the system fully traps the rope inside of the device. Function operation can be performed with any of the Ronin product line. This here is the Ronin Titan Lift. Port.
part of the Ronin system is not being selfish. Your buddy's also going to want to take a ride. To accomplish retrieving the system from an at-height environment, it requires using the remote and locking the brake open. We include a bungee cord inside the device that allows you to lock the brake open on the bottom attachment clip. And it's as simple as retrieving the unit with the remote. With that brake fully locked open, you can power reverse the unit down. Your buddy can jump in and head on up. Outside of ascending, you may want to do a little bit of winching. The Ronin tool is a very flexible, portable winch. In this particular case, lifting and lowering tools up to your buddy to work can be done with the remote. And the retrieval is the same as we just showed in the previous video. With winching with the Ronin products, you may don't always have to use the remote. An operator can control the winching aspect of lifting and lowering material, either by fixing the Ronin to an anchor point at the top or the bottom position. In this particular case, Mark's up at the top. We've affixed the Ronin up to the top, and he's going to go ahead and lower the tools down. Simply by holding the brake open, Mark can lower the rope down, the tool bag, I can take out tools, I can add new tools, and he can go ahead and winch it all the way back up. Lastly, with the Ronin product lines, we don't want you to forget about those mechanical advantages. They're easy to integrate, and in this example, I have the TL with the pulley on top, attaching into that top attachment point, and when suddenly we're in an 800 pound lifting capacity. Uh, the guys here at Ronin, myself and Mark, wanted to thank GME for having us out of their facility. We hope we uh, piqued your interest with some of the new capabilities on the TL and the STL and showed you some tricks you may not have seen before. Um, in the end, we want to make sure that our products make you safer, more efficient, healthier, happier in the workplace. If you need any, uh, any, anything from us, you can always contact us at Ronin, either on our website, www.roninpowerdescender.com, or on one of our social media sites.